All right, friends, we're going in. It's been a bit since we've done some thrifting. If you were on my other channel today, my Brush Life channel, I'll link it below. You'll get a little update of what we've been up to, but we've been busy. So I'm excited to get back into a little thrifting. If you've missed the videos, stay tuned. We're about to kick them back off. We are going with cart number two. Did you ever get a cart with a wonky wheel? Everyone does. So we're hitting here tonight and it's probably right around supper hour, like six o'clock. We haven't been here for a month. Haven't been here for, yeah, a good month. And, um, but I'm curious to see, it feels a little uncrowded, which I'm very happy about. What do we think of the tree? It's free. It's free. Maybe he just got put out. He doesn't have a tag. Of course, the um, chef in that. 30 bucks for this old... Mixmaster? Yeah, Sunbeam Mixmaster from back in the 50s. You see it has cooking, bloody muffin, yeah. quick bread, more cakes. <laughs> That's pretty cool for Do you a like collector. That? If you're a collector. Yeah. Do you think it still works? Oh, it says <gasps> it's tested, yeah. Now this is what I'm interested in. Look, <laughs> it's a baby waffle maker. <gasps> a baby waffle maker. You think I'm kidding, but I'm serious. All right, already I'm seeing a few things that I like. What about that guy? This? Yes. He's chipped. But we stayed here. Do you remember where we stayed Is here? Is that that place like, in yeah. Las Vegas that we yes. stayed in? No way. Yeah, same Paris, Las Vegas. They probably paid a fortune for that but thing. Look, it's chipped. What's the price? Four ninety nine. Yeah. But yeah, they paid a lot. So what is that hole for right there? I don't what know, do you think that is? It's a drink. It's a, it's a, it's a mug, probably. Huh. So a straw goes in there and a big mixed drink, right? That's so cool. Kind of like so during the um, during the time that we actually went out to um, Los Angeles, Los Angeles, you remember the map was on the TL show. T I can't even talk. The TL show, the T um, TLC show. Uh, we stayed in the hotel, and at the time we went out, <laughs> we got a great rate. It's a peanut shoe, Matt. It's a peanut shoe. Yes? No? What do you think? Yes, $2.99. I might need this in my life. A little tiny base here, $1.99. Um, I wonder if I should get that. Oh, I like this thing. So what is this? This one's $1.99. And handmade pottery. From Puerto Vallarta. I think that's beautiful. Yeah, let's grab that one. Love the colors on that one. Triangle coasters. I don't know if they're handmade or not. This guy's kind of cool. What is this? Three ninety nine. Oh, it's really pretty. Be a cool pen holder or something like that. Oh, we got a little heart box. This thing looks old. Made in China. You're a dream crusher. I am. Such a oh dream God. crusher. I keep everything, uh, keep everything in perspective. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this. Polka dots drawing me in. What are you? Your little polka dot box, maybe? Let's see here. What would go in here? Maybe this was a card deck mat. What do you think? Do you see how it has the two napkins? Lid? I don't know. What do you think? What's your best guess to audience? Made in India. Don't know what it is, but it's obviously made perfect size for this something. Is a new one. This is kind of cool with the finish. Yeah, it is a newer piece. I do like it. This would totally fit the vibe of my shop. Five ninety nine. So six dollars. So I'd have to sell it at minimum for twelve. What do we think? All right. Let me think on that one as I move forward I have here. Two unicorn bells, but they're both they've both been dehorned. 
I've had and sold many of these, $3.99. This, this cat candle, we love cats. Wasn't me. This cat, um, I keep getting and selling. Okay, this orange colored thing down here caught my attention. Did somebody paint that? Okay, let me see here. Now they painted the outside and they did some decorative painting. It's really pretty. You can see it's kind of missing in some spots. I do love the color. That's a fun pop of color. I don't know whose this one is, but this one is, um, yeah. Okay, let me see the front of it. Hard enough. Somebody wrote on it. It was a gift. Oh, and it was probably filled with something at the time. Yeah, alcohol. What are these things? Oh my gosh. I want to, I want to have cheese and almonds. Love that. All right, what are you back here? Are you a candle holder perhaps? No, you're two plates. Could totally be a little place to burn a candle. Okay, we just, oh my gosh, actually I missed this part. Look at this. This is a cute little, oh my goodness. Okay, my favorite find of the day already. It's a little planter, he's $2.99. I think I'm gonna grab that one. Look at this, Matt. Oh, best find of the day. Look at that, $2.99. Uh -huh. Oh my goodness, it's perfect. <laughs> so we just kind of did a general sweep of this area. Picked a few things out, although now I'm seeing these bottles. These probably would sell it in my shop. How much are they? $2 each. Be kind of cute. Okay. I might think on these bottles as well because I feel like could put a cool tag on them. People could use them for a little vase. Super nice. So I think I'm gonna grab those. I'm gonna need to get the cart. Oh my gosh, how do I not see this? I love stripes. $3.99. You can tell somebody filled this in, which I would have done the exact same too. If I was keeping this for myself, I'd definitely get this if I needed it. Um, but since I'm gonna be doing this for resale, I'm not gonna pick that one up today. But yeah, we did a sweep here. You guys seeing anything that I'm missing? Sometimes I watch these videos back and I'm like, how did I miss that? See, this is cute. A $4.99. Could do a little dry brushing on that and change it to a different color. I think the last thing that I wanna get in this aisle is I'm going to get this guy here. I think my customers would definitely enjoy this piece so we are going to find the cart we are going to put it into the cart super cool it's just a decorative piece but love the crackle antique look oh my gosh is this a candle holder oh it's a turtle look at this one look at this. Yes. Uh, it is Lead crystal. Yeah, just. Okay, let me put my turtle down in here. Turtle, turtle. So Matt found this really heavy crystal holder. Oh, it's three ninety nine, and I am going to get this one for the shop. You guys know. Oh my gosh, I see what you're looking at, Matt. I'm coming for you. Let me get this guy back down here first. We sell a ton of candles, so that one. Ooh, we don't want him to fall over. We're gonna put him right here. Okay, what's we got going on over here? <gasps> oh, the critters of my dreams with these little controlled bubbles. $2.99, yes, I will bring you home. What is he? Is he a dog? I think he's a dog. $2.99 and a swan for $2.99. Guys, I'm gonna tell you, like, this is the stuff I dream of finding at thrift stores. I love this. Anything to do with glass, paperweights, color. I just love them so much. Oh, so perfect, no chips. So that's ideal. So that was a good find, Matt. These are candle holders. Look, somebody had three of them. I was totally, I am totally digging their color scheme that they had going on. $3.99. Um, these would be really good too, Matt, for the shop. All right, let's grab these real quick. A bunch of Smith glass here as well. Okay, I'm gonna take these. All right. 
I, I don't get super colorful. Uh, just for note, some people might see Smith Glass on here. Um, I don't get worked up over Smith Glass because I grew up right near the factory. <laughs> Anchor Hawking, Smith Glass, uh, Linux, we grew up around Mount Pleasant, Pennsylvania, so it's kind of, we see a lot of it. Look at you, you big blue vase. $12.99. She's a statement piece. So this is super cool. This is a hand-blown glass perfume bottle, but it's missing the stopper. But you can look, Beautiful. look at the... It's got like a fin on it. Yeah, this is, you know, all hand embellished. You can see where they broke it off on there and on there. Super cool. What's the price on that one? This one is... $3.99. 99, but it's missing the stopper, so I can't... You know, I don't need it, but... If somebody were to use this, I would use this with like, yeah, one single flower, like a single petal vase. It's beautiful. Okay, acid etched coffee mug of somebody's head exploding, I think that's what it is. If they don't <laughs> get coffee, their heads explode. That's me and that's my head. I will explode if I don't get coffee. All right, look at this guy. What, you said mermaid, I'm coming? Yep. Coming, I'm coming. Oh, she's pretty. Look at the price on the bottom. Kohl's, $2.99, regularly yeah. 20 bucks. Yeah. yeah, wow. Super cool. I can't, I would never play, pay $20 for that. I used to, um, I've had multiple Vera Bradley like backpacks, and I also um, did the agenda one year. I just love the colors that she does. You can get a lot of Vera Bradley for um, pretty cheap nowadays. If you thrift it. So Matt just found this section and uh, sorry I'm laughing because he literally tried to record it twice and uh, the recorder wasn't on. <laughs> I think we just need food. So oh those are cool. These are two big chalk pieces. <gasps> What's the other one? It's, you know our chalk unicorns? We've had a couple chalk pieces, so. Yeah, these are, yeah. All right, those watching, would you have taken them home? So, now's your opportunity. What did you want to say about this plate collection? I think it's cool. We're not grabbing anything from here because it's not our thing, but if I was, uh, they now have a collector's a plate collection. Area. Yeah, that's cute. I like the birds. It's a little bike. Cute little bike. It's a horse. It's a horse, of course. I do like this piece in here. What are we made out of? Three ninety nine. It's a little dirty. It would need a good cleaning. It's pretty dusty, um, but it's really pretty. Probably somebody had that above their door or a shelf or something like that. Thank Gord, it's sweater wetter. Shorter redder. So I think we're gonna grab this decorative plate. It's really cool. It's got all this woodworking around the edge. I think it's beautiful. What'd you find? And a holder. Unfortunately. $16.99. I don't think yeah, they grab it. No, it's, it's beautiful. Resin. And this looks like another centerpiece type deal. This is a big one, $4.99. Again, what would you fill it with? You could put Christmas ornaments into it. I mean, all kinds of stuff. All right, I'm seeing some gold bits in here. So let's take a look through here and see what we got going on. They've definitely got a growing tin metal selection here. I found some great stuff in here the last time I was in here. Not sure what that is or if I really want to move all those things to get to it. It's a little tiny leaf tray. Oh look, it's a little bell. Now that I've drawn complete attention to us. What is that? Cast iron true it blooms. Oh yeah. You wanna grab that? Okay, so we're gonna grab that little cast iron thing. Oh my gosh, I love these. These look like star candle holders, the pair, $3.99. They got this little glass insert into them. You know, I love a little gold, a little glass, that's kind of fun. So 
he just went ahead and put that one there. Does it go on the wall or does it have feet? It can go on the wall, but it also has feet. Oh yeah, I really like that. Okay, cool. Okay, you know me, I'm drawn to anything that has little cubbies into it. What does that say? Something, 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 something pod. <laughs> is that what it is? I just love little trays like this. I imagine, you know, chips and dip and I like snacky things. I just got these little tiny, um, they're not like Rubbermaid, but they're like little plastic things where you can like put your lunch, all the bits and pieces. What's it called? Ma bento, bento boxes, right? Are really popular right now. It's just kind of a take on all the little compartments. And I do enjoy making myself little bits of, um, you know, carrots and olives and nuts and all that stuff. Okay, I'm not seeing anything else in here. Did you see anything? Yes. I'm going to go this way. Lots of wooden stuff here, but nothing that I'm really seeing that's jumping out at me. Taking a look over here before we head out to see if there's anything in the, kind of the furniture section. Oh, look at that. It looks like a bunch of bowls. Only it goes on your wall sideways. <laughs> okay, look at this guy. <laughs> He's a spider. He's kind of cute. I like him, I just don't like live ones. Oh, we heard the call. That was the call to take off. So we got a little shopping done. All right, we're gonna head to the front. $19.99, you could paint that. That would be a super cute little, little piece. Okay, what is, he looks kind of familiar. I think I have a mug that matches his face. He's a lobster panda. He's a lobster panda. Cute, he's $3.99. All right, we got yelled at, so we're gonna have to leave. Yep. So Matt just said we got yelled at. He heard the call to do the checkout as well. So we're gonna take off, but we found some great pieces today. We got a turtle candle holder. We got our little vase. We got our kitty cat candle holder. Cute little cactus. I know somebody will love him, love the colors. Um, this guy's got that crackled antique look. We got some more candle holders down here. These are definitely like something to remember finding. I'm gonna have to look these up. Anybody recognize them? I don't know if they're anything special or not, but anything to do with glass. It's got the polished bottoms on them. Um, I just love those. Some star candles, a little spoon rest, trivet, and uh, yeah, trivet, not pivot. And then we've got our beautiful bowl. All right, very happy with those finds. Let's go ahead and make the team happy and not keep them here late. All right, see you guys again soon, bye. Beautiful.